Why, hello. How are you doing today? Hopefully great. I am your host, Tim. More specifically, Tim Hansen. Yeah, you like that? Uh, anyways, <laughs> welcome back to another Every Zombies Map in One Video video, where today we are going to be doing the Starting Pistol Challenge. I am only allowed to use the starting pistol on every single Treyarch Zombies map chronologically. We're starting here in World of War. We're going to make our way all the way up to Black Ops 4. Now, as far as rules, all right, we'll start off with the rules, okay? It's probably good to establish pretty early. You see this neat little contraption in my hands here? That's it. No wall guns, no mystery box spins, not even obtaining things through challenges. No guns of any way, shape, or form. Other than, of course, this, my grenades, and my knife. I figured I'd not restrict myself on those because those are sort of innately within me. So I guess I do have grenades and a knife as well. Sue me. Now, I'm going to let these guys break in. I'm going to knife while I can because I need to preserve bullets. Because as, as, you, as you can see, <laughs> not working with a ton. I am able to pack a punch. I am able to turn on power. I am able to grab perks. I am able to do anything and everything other than obtain another primary or secondary weapon. Now, unfortunately, on this map, there are no perk machines, there is no pack-a-punch machine, and there isn't even a power switch for that matter. So, what am I going to be doing? I don't really know. There is not a strategy that is going to save me. <laughs> I'm fucked no matter what. I can't even grab the car. I can't even grab the carbine. I can't spin the box. I can't even use what very little this map has to offer. So if you've been living under a rock, or you just happen to stumble across my channel for the first time, you may be interested to know that I have an entire series based around this concept where I have a challenge on every single Treyarch Zombies map. Now, I've done the one box challenge, I've done the one wall gun challenge, I've done the one hit challenge, where if I got hit once, I swapped to the next map chronologically. I've done a 1v1 on every map, I've done a starting room challenge on every map, and now we're just doing the starting pistol on every map. Now, I know Mr. Dalek JD actually did this before me, but then again... I did all the other ones before him, so kiss my ass, John. I'm just kidding, I love you. I actually guess rebuilding barriers would be pretty helpful, so I can uh, keep the, the spawns down. I can do that, hopefully. Oh, I'm already dead. I'm already dead. That's already game over. See how quickly this video is going to go? I actually don't even know if this video is going to break an hour. They're usually well over an hour. This one, I don't know. And here we are. This map is not any better. Well, it is better because I do have a power switch and perks, but am I going to even have enough time in my short little life here to do all of that? Probably not. There is still not a pack-a-punch machine, so I don't have to worry about that. I really don't even have to worry about quick revive because, again, in World of War, it is useless. Points are going to be a huge factor in terms of game progression. Rebuilding every last barrier I can, getting every last point out of the zombies I can, it's all going to be very essential because... We are working with, of course, very limited ammo, very limited resources. I need to capitalize on everything I can to get to where I need to be. You know, I've always wanted to do this. I was always just afraid that the gameplay would be very, very subpar, not very entertaining to watch, just a starting pistol. But I'm just going to do it anyways because I love these types of videos and this is a pretty neat challenge and it's one of the very few I can even do anymore. Because when I think of ideas for this series, playing every single map, I have to have something that applies to both something as bare bones as Noct and something as complex as Revelations, for example, you know? I have to have something that applies across the board, and this is one of the very few things left that does. So, <laughs> to be honest, I don't know how much longer this series is even going to continue. We're gonna get to power right now, that's step one. Step two is by Jug. Step three is, I guess, speed cola so I can reload the starting pistol faster. Oh, also, I'm going to totally restrict traps. I'm going to totally erase traps because what's the point of this challenge if I have the starting pistol and I just run through traps the entire time and kill them all? Ooh, I'll take that. That wouldn't be very entertaining in my opinion. So I'm just going to uh, eliminate traps. I need one more barrier. If I can reload one more barrier, rebuild one more barrier, not reload, Jesus Christ. I can get Jug. It's calling my name. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm so happy I actually got to this point. The only thing that Jug is going to do for me is make it so I don't get double swiped while knifing, which I guess is actually huge. But in the same respect, look at my ammo situation already. It's been one round and I'm already bleeding ammo. This is scary. This is too scary for right now. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. Oh, open. Open the door! What? 
off to a great start. Hey, Peter. How's it hanging? There's the joke. Every time I play this map and don't say that, I actually get a lot of comments saying I should have I should have said that. I think it's also important to note that I am doing a one and done deal. I am doing one take on every map. I am not restarting. So even if there is a pack a punch machine, even if there is a ton to work with on a specific map that I'm recording, I could still get windmilled and die. So there's always that comforting thought. It's going to be pretty inconsistent. I'm going to do really well on some maps that you may not even expect. And I might do terrible on maps that you would expect me to do well on. So it's always very interesting to see how it pans out. We're going to have the cult for a while. We're going to have it all the way through Black Ops 1 and, of course, World of War. I think Black Ops 2, the majority of those maps have it as well. I know Origins doesn't. That'll be interesting. But until Origins, I'm pretty sure we do not have any other starting pistols not much variety at the beginning of this there is random perk spawn on this map i could get jug first i could get it fourth i may not even be able to see any of them if we get jug on our first try that would be epic gamer plays wow they're already sort of just up in my grill right now i can't believe i just said that out loud what am i a white dad trying to be hip oh i am no i got double swiped well now we're headed to Doris, which is a map that we can actually pack a punch on we're here we're queer no, we're not. Stop saying that, Tim. There's nothing wrong with that, by the way. You know, I used to think that the word queer... You know what? I'm just going to stop talking. God. All right. Shoo. That's going to be cool. I suppose a good question is, should I buy Jug first or should I pack a bunch first? You would think the safer option would be to buy Jug first. That may be true. However, I also need firepower because I'm going to run out of ammo and have to knife them. And that's not very safe. So maybe I should just focus on pack-a-punching this thing if I get to that point and then maybe by jug with those points I save up. That is going to be quite the endeavor. I think that would be one of my biggest achievements in Zombies history. Life history. If I could do this, that'd be cool. I'm about to turn on the power switch. Rest in peace, mystery box. I really wish I could touch you inappropriately. I need about nine grand, I believe, to get everything I need to get. I have three grenades to do so. Now, unless I get an insta-kill or a max ammo or a nuke or something along those lines, I'm probably just gonna die now. Wait, that's game over? I actually thought I got past that. Oh, wow. This is going by super quick. Welcome to Black Ops 1. We are on the cinema of the dead. We are not allowed to grab any guns, as you recall, but we can grab Quick Revive, which is a pretty good step in the right direction. You know, World of War just didn't really give us that opportunity, but now we can capitalize on that opportunity. We are in a new engine. We have power, we have pack-a-punch, we have perks. Things are going to get a little bit easier because we're not in that glitchy World of War engine where you get stuck to the zombies. Hopefully we can just knife without as much risk, even though you can still very well get hit, as we just saw right there. I'm going to try to preserve as much ammo as I possibly can. I think I want to pack-a-punch first. I think that's the play. My typical strategy on this map is to open up all of the doors, get the Bowie knife, use that for a while until it becomes useless, spin the box after that, get the Thunder Gun. It's pretty easy from there on. But here, of course, I'm stuck with this. I've got to pack a punch this. No flopper! Which sucks. But we got to make use of what we have. So uh, let me just make sure I don't die here. Step one. Up oh, there's an insta kill. That's actually really, really good. You take that, take that. Although later on, hey, we're going to get a lot of PhD flopper in Black Ops 1, aren't we? So, I mean, this is just one of the few Black Ops 1 maps that we're actually going to be struggling heavily on. I'm not going to lie, I'm super nervous right now. I don't know why. I think it's just the fact that I can only use the starting pistol. <laughs> that might be it. I'm fucking scared. I'm trembling right now. There's so many of them as well. Okay, we have grenades, right? Maybe we ought to just utilize some of those. I think they're too close together for us to just go on a knifing spree right now. Let me just open this up. We'll go this way. That won't be too different from what we normally do. Ow, you motherfucker! Don't you dare! Don't you dare try to windmill, you boy! Oh, you died pretty quickly. Okay! I feel a little more comfortable now. Let me toss another grenade. Hopefully that'll take out the vast majority of you. Okay. Oh, we might be screwed early. We might just be screwed early. I am probably going to die. I totally forgot about Hellhounds. Wow. Okay. Well, let me link that up. Oh, okay, hopefully, uh, hopefully I can take them on. Let me just cook up a grenade. Shit. I wonder how many hellhounds I have to kill on solo on round five. Can't be that many, right? I'm all out of ammo. Just toss that there. That probably did nothing. Yep. Oh, dear God. I'm going to have to buy grenades off the wall or something. I'm going to blow up. Oh, oh, 
Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm scared. Okay, okay. <sighs> okay, I killed one of them. I killed one. That's progress. I killed one dog. Now we need to find a grenade wall by because that's my only hope right now. I'm not turning around and knifing them. Where is the grenade wall by? Oh, I don't think there is one other than the one in the fucking pack a punch room. Yeah, I'm out of luck here. Maybe I just have to grow a pair of balls and just run up to them and just knife they asses. You know what I mean? Is this the last one? I feel like I haven't killed that many. Uh. Okay. This is weird. Spawns are really weird. Oh, wait. No, one of them was just sitting around doing nothing. Okay. I'm gonna get... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is not safe. Don't try this at home, kids. Do not try this at home! Oh, my God. 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 Run faster! Run faster! I can kill them, though. I can kill them. Did that end it? No? Oh. Oh, fuck you. Okay. Wow. I lost one quick revive during that round. I'm willing to accept that, though. I could have teleported and grabbed grenades. Wouldn't have been very promising either way. It's linked. It's ready to go. Thank God. Oh, if I downed while I was teleporting, I would be pissed. We got to pack a punched weapon during this video. That's all I wanted. It's all I could have asked for. Check this out. Check this out. Boom, bitch. You have enough for jug? I got to quickly grab that. Good. Get out of there. Link the telepad. We're making progress, boys. I guess there's one good thing about this challenge, and that is I really have nothing to worry about other than this gun. I don't have to worry about grabbing wonder weapons or progressing through the game or playing zombies, really. I just have to worry about uh, making myself suffer <laughs> with this. I'm going to grab that. Reload. Grab max ammo. That's always appreciated. It's a hellhound round. It is. Oh, my God. Well, you know what? I'm more prepared this time, bitch. Come at me. I cannot be fucked with. Oh. Oh, hey there. Bitch. <gasps> bitch. I hate myself. In World of War, when you pack a punch, the Colt, which you only can on Doris, it is actually a singular pistol. You see how I have a dual wield Mustang and Sally here in Black Ops 1 and so on. But in World of War, it's just a singular pistol, which is really weird. I, re I really wish I could have been able to pack a punch on that map. That would have been really cool to show you guys. But obviously, you could just look up some 2008 gameplay of someone recording their TV with a fucking toaster. Dude, come on! It's too easy to fucking kill myself with these things. Regardless of whether or not I kill myself with these things, they are going to drop off pretty soon as it is. You really can only go so far with these. The ammo is very limited as well. I'm kind of running through it pretty quickly. Of course, I have a nuke right here. Oh, fuck! All I wanted to do was nuke you, and you insist on resisting. I'm relying on everything in front of me dying. No, they did not all die. See what I mean? Those shits got weaker. Also, I was probably going to run out of ammo before that round even ended. Anyways, round 15, that was pretty respectable. One, two, five. Five is one of the most challenging maps of all time. No flopper once again, but we do have power, pack-a-punch perks. Pretty much the exact same thing as Kino, except this time... That's your Q, JFK. That's your fucking Q. There he is. We get to be a president. Also, the Pentagon Thief is going to be really scary because I'm only going to have the pistol. And if he takes it away from me, I am going to permanently lose it, right? I don't get it back. <laughs> That's actually going to be super interesting. If I live long enough to have my gun stolen by the Pentagon Thief, I will be walking around without anything in my hands. I don't have a secondary. So I got to rely on killing him super early. I got to try to pack a punch this thing before he spawns in. So maybe I should just save up a bunch of points before I turn on the power. Because he doesn't spawn in without the power on, I believe. I've said it a couple of times in my videos. Kino was actually meant to be a World of War DLC. Meaning that 5 was meant to be the first map. The launch map of Black Ops 1. Obviously, it has huge ties with the campaign. So it makes sense. Could you imagine having this be the launch map, though? Could you imagine not having Kino as the launch map? That would be crazy. Only having this super challenging map to play at launch. 
I feel like zombies would be very, very different without Kino in this game, because this was the most popular Call of Duty game. The best-selling Call of Duty game, I should say, in terms of just copies. So, to not have Kino as that giant influence in this game, I think, would set zombies in a different timeline or something. It, it would be really different, is what I'm trying to say. I'm really not a huge fan of this. <laughs> I'm so scared. I don't, I don't know if you guys feel how scared I really am through this gameplay. I don't think you truly get it until you do it yourself. Nah, you probably understand. You probably don't should, probably shouldn't even put yourself through this. I'm gonna toss a grenade right here. I don't have enough points to open up this door, so I'm gonna have to loop back around some. <gasps> a death machine! I didn't pick it up! Okay, let me just toss that there. Wow, this is scary to say the least. I gotta grab this. This is actually very good for the program. I'm gonna kill all of you guys. What else can I do? I can knife this crawler. I down. Great. Obviously, I'm editing a lot of this out. I have been knifing them for about 10 minutes now. Now, if I could just get to 5,000 points, that would be awesome. I really do like Classified. I really do miss the original five, though. I will say that. Because, you know, the Pentagon Thief, the President, everything about this map is just fucking killer! I have enough for Pack-A-Punch as well. Speaking of killer! Fuck you! Not a moment too soon. I really wish I could play some M&M in pink right now. Play some uh, Won't Back Down. But I can't. See, look at me. Look at me pistolless right now. Oh, this motherfucker. Oh, boy. Watch it happen right now. Watch it happen right now while I'm down here in the basement. Vulnerable AF. Okay, well, I'll toss grenades. May as well. This is not gonna bode well for me. Oh, boy. Oh, it did bode well for me. We got a bonfire sale. Unfortunately, I can't pack a punch anything. We got past the Pentagon Thief. That is very good. We kept our gun. I would be very sad if he took it because I'm pretty sure there's no other way to obtain the starting pistol again and I wouldn't have been able to uh, grab any other gun, right? <laughs> that would be defeating the uh, the purpose of the challenge. I would have just had my grenade and my knife. Also, we have enough for Jug, I just realized. That's a pretty good pickup, huh? Don't you think? Oh, oh dear God. Okay. All right. I get it. I get it. You're angry. You probably don't have a big penis. Don't take my guns, though. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's going to take my guns. He's going to take him. He's going to take him. Run faster, Tim. He's going to take your shit. Oh, wow. I don't even need to visit Pack-A-Punch right now. There's not even a point, man. Unless I could pack a bunch of my grenades or something. But other otherwise... Nope. Yep, yeah, there it is. I got trapped. Uh, and I'm running pretty low on ammo. We're starting to get into that ammo situation problem thing. It's always in the, the mid-teens. Quickly. Grab Jug. That I should have left earlier. Why did I wait so long? That was one of the best clutches I think I've ever pulled off. Didn't mean to buy that. Did not mean to buy Double Tap. I accidentally bought Double Tap. I meant to purchase the elevator. I was going to buy Double Tap anyways, but I was going to buy Quick Revive and Speed Cola first. Now I can't quite grab Speed Cola right now. God damn it. How cool would that be if it insta-killed the Pentagon Thief? Pretty sure he's gonna... Oh! Well, okay. Do I not get a bonfire sale? <laughs> I don't need it, but I guess I don't get it. Look at these. They're not... They're not doing much! Let's see. A death machine. I'll take my chances. Why not? Just save some ammo. Yeah, it's not too bad. Starts to get really bad after a while, though. Another Pentagon Thief round. Round 21. We're doing pretty good. I'm gonna keep my distance here. He's dead again, immediately, and this time I got a bonfire sale, whereas last time I did not. I actually want to try to avoid picking up the bonfire sale, as really hurtful as that is, because I don't want to have to turn all the DEFCONs back on after it recycles, so. Enjoy uh, a bonfire sale, a perfectly good bonfire sale disappear right before your eyes, viewers. I know that you're probably screaming at your TV right now. Max ammo, I'll just take it. And an insta-kill. I've been getting so lucky with drops. I think that's the reason why... I'm doing so well on 5. I got to run 15 on Kino. I'm on 25 on an even harder map. The world works in mysterious ways. If you were expecting consistency throughout this video, you are going to be sadly mistaken. I'm going to kill myself with splash damage right now, aren't I? Die. 
Oh my god, I am a fucking god. Okay, here it is, another Pentagon Thief round. I wonder if this is gonna be any different than the last three of them where I just instantly ended his fucking existence. Oh, there he is. Oh, it wasn't much different, although he did get closer this time. He inched a couple of inches closer this time. I've hit the point where I have absolutely nothing except for a knife. So, I think I'm going to probably uh, use the elevator here. We'll totally risk my life. See if I can grab some... Uh, Wall by grenades. I don't even know if there are any. That's the thing. I could be totally risking everything for no reason at all. I'll grab that. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Don't swear, kids. It's not healthy. I swear too much. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm trapped. Well, I got more ammo back. Oh, there's some right there. Are those Semtexes or are those regular grenades? I'm going to loop back in here and then grab some of those. Whatever they happen to be. They will do, and I might end up training down here for a bit. Also, even though I hate Novas, those could be beneficial to us. Uh, where? Where? Frag grenades, okay. They could help us kill the other zombies. So let me just... Word you fellas up. Toss a grenade. Give it a second. I really wish I could even buy Claymore, so I can't even do that. So let me just... Do that. Oh, boy. Uh, can't see shit. I died. Wow, I could have... I could have died a lot earlier, though. So I am not going to complain. 28 on 5. You gotta love the consistency. I get to run 15 on Kino, the easy map, and I get to run 28 on the difficult map, 5. Now, we're on to another very easy map, and we even have Flopper this time. And we even have an infinite damage cylindrical dildo, is what I like to call it. That's going to help us out quite a bit. I'm going to grab Quick Revive right now. Ooh, should I even buy Quick Revive right now? There's going to be monkeys coming in. Well, then again, they won't come until I uh, turn on power, so I may as well grab that. No, what the fuck was that? I got lunged into him. I'm going to start opening things up. You know, explore the world a little bit. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to save up points here and spawn until I can pack a punch. I see no reason to do anything else. I need a lot of points to open up all of the doors I need to open to get to Pack-A-Punch. So I'm going to be sitting in here for a while, gathering up some points. If I can get to that point, though, if I can get to the Mustang and Sally and Flopper and Jug and all that kind of stuff, assuming the monkeys don't screw everything up too, actually, then uh, this really ideally should be the best attempt. But we all know that I've already downed once. No! Power on. I actually have enough to get all of the Lunar Landers underway and pack a punch now. So that is good. Monkeys will be arriving, so I have to keep my eyes peeled. Let's launch this bitch. I don't have anything to shoot it down with, but I do have enough to pack a punch, which is even better. So I'm going to go over there, and I'm going to pack a punch. And we're going to get the Mustang and Sally, which is something I was questioning whether or not I was able to get that. But hey, I got here, so that's good. I... After that, we'll be able to uh, obtain PhD, I think, is even more important than Jug. And the Quick Revive machine is gone, so I don't even have to defend Quick Revive anymore, which is good and bad. We have enough for Flopper. No! Wait a s- I got cocky. I got cocky. I thought, for some reason, subconsciously, I had Jug. I did not. I had Flopper. I felt protected. I had Flopper, not Jug. That was a mental error. I have no more Quick Revives. On round 12 on Ascension. That's quite a big contrast from the prior game. Yeah, you know what? If I can somehow get out of this. Did I really just die? Oh my god. I actually just died. That's actually insane. I could have done so much better on this map. This map is mind-numbingly easy. Well, you take what you can get, and you move on. That was sad. On to Call of the Dead. I guarantee you there are black icebergs. Yep, this is a problem I experience on console only, not on PC. I believe it has something to do with space in my hard drive, potentially. There's some sort of error. Maybe it's actually an error with Elgato, my game capture device. I'm not sure what the issue is. It's only a console issue. The icebergs being totally just a void of sadness, really. So, I, you know what? I apologize for that. I can't really do anything about that right now. I hope it doesn't bother you too much. It's not like we're going to be alive on this map for very long. 
unfortunately. As sad as that is, I love this map. Pack-a-punching on this map is quite easy. We just need to wait for the lighthouse to give us that opportunity. So we just need 5,000 points for that. There is Flopper on this map as well. And there is also Jug and all the other perks. Plus Deadshot. I mean, Deadshot's a huge step for the progression of zombies. Am I right? I'm going to go turn on power. I don't quite have enough points to pack a punch or do really anything yet for that matter, which is unfortunate. But, oh, I got a death machine. Never mind. I'm going to come right back down here, and I'm going to even shoot you, George. How about that for a fucking game changer? We may get lucky with pack a punch, because as soon as we flip this switch, I'm pretty sure it's going to find a location. If we could get it down there and spawn, that'd be ideal. There's a couple other spots as well. That wouldn't be too bad. What? You're joking. That's a joke. Wow. That was just uncalled for. Yeah, you know what? Call of the Dead's looking like a dud. Duh! I am bleeding through quick revives. I don't have any more. Oh, I almost have enough, too. I just need, like, one more kill. Two more kills, I think. Oh. Okay. Like, one more. Like, one more, Scoob. One more. Okay. Okay. Five grand. We went through all of our quick revives. We got really unlucky with those pack-a-punch locations. I wonder if it's possible to reobtain a quick revive by killing George and getting it as a free perk. That would be superb, if possible. That would be a really cool thing, actually. We got all of our perks. Now, when we get enough ammo, when the timing feels right, we're going to try to kill George and get a fifth free perk. Again, no more quick revive, but we can potentially get Deadshot Daiquiri, Double Tap, or Mule Kick. All pretty useless perks right now. Hey, George. I'm gonna have to put you down, buddy. I love you. But I want a free perk. Ow. Still not dead? I'm out of ammo! I'm gonna have to grab Semtex grenades. I'm out of frags. So, this is kind of it. No, 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 no. Aww. Ha ha. I didn't get to kill George, but I did get pretty far. All things considered. Shangri-La, baby! Hell yeah. What can I do? I can buy Quick Revive. That's what I can do. Although Shangri-La is a very difficult map, it's not gonna be much more difficult. For this challenge because people like to rock mustang and sally with flopper on this map anyways it's sort of the ideal strat the only thing i'll be missing of course is the baby gun i didn't want to come this way but i had to i was trapped we need power on anyways but it would be really nice if this panel was easily accessible is it going to be here or is it going to be in that bumfuck tunnel it's going to be in that bumfuck tunnel great well power switch Power switch? Are you even able to pack a punch without the power on? Oh boy, that's good and bad. It's good because all the zombies are dead, and it's bad because, well, quite frankly, I needed more points. That's okay. Hopefully I can find some grenades somewhere. Oh, well, there's some taxes right here, so I'll grab those. We'll open up through the other side. And, uh, I guess now we're just saving up for pack a punch. Okay, so you do need to turn on power for the panel to rise. I just learned that for the very first time, eight, nine years after this map released. Also, I opened up the entire map, therefore have no more points. Which is not something I actually wanted to do, it was something I was forced into doing, because I was trapped. So, I've got a couple of Semtex grenades. A couple of zombies. We're gonna have a freaking party. Don't do this at home, kids. This is for the professionals. Not that I'm a professional by any means, but... Professional-ish. Oh! I do do this for a job. So that counts, right? Oh, God! Oh, fuck! Okay. Okay, hi. Hello. That stuck to him. Die. He's not dead. Oh, my God. He's a fucking tank. He's good at dodging my shit, too. Is he dead? How is he not dead?! Ha! Ah, bitch! Well, that doesn't really solve my, uh, ammo situation, but he's dead, so that's good. Oh, insta-kill. That is huge. That is huge. And a carpenter. Dude, the day is saved. I do just need a couple 
More points. We're here. Okay, we got five grand. Oh my god, dude. This is sick. We just pimped the fuck out. And a nuke! Wow. You know what? I don't quite have enough for Flopper. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna get... Oh, now I do. I am most likely not going to survive this. So... Goodbye, world. I'm gonna try to run through here. There's a napalm zombie for you. Dear God. Okay. Please take me in the right direction. No. No, God damn it. Well, going through the mud is a death sentence. I gotta hurry this up. Pack a punch is not gonna last all that long. That's what she said. Hurry up. I could just. Uh. How much longer? How much longer? Okay, I have a decent amount of time. Come on. Please hurry up. <laughs> hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, we pack a punch on Shangri-La. Now, as all you Shangri-La professionals know, you can manipulate the drops through the monkeys. I can give myself max ammos. It's a little tricky. It's especially tricky while there are zombies running around the place. But if I'm careful enough, I may be able to fabricate some... Max ammo is out of thin air. No, 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 no. No, oh, no, fuck you, fuck you. Well, that's the end of the round. Yikes, I need ammo desperately. Snape Palm Zombie is my only hope. Where is it? I need to utilize it. I need to take advantage of it. No! That, that, that kind of worked, right? <laughs> I, I did what I wanted to do. I died in the process of it. Great. Great! I don't know what I was expecting. This is Shangri-La, the most stressful map. There's a carpenter. The only way I'm getting out of this is if I... No, oh, I'm screwed. There it is. Oh. Here we are on Moon, the final Black Ops 1 map of this challenge. The final map for a very long time where we actually have Flopper. We have a jug here. I am going to try my very best to survive here in Area 51. This is one take, mind you. I am not restarting... This is no joke, okay? What happens here happens. My goal, of course, is to grab Jug and pack a punch while I'm here. Is that going to happen? Unlikely, but possible. And I like to remain optimistic if I can. This could be a very short segment of Moon. Not gonna lie to you guys. So let's just uh, keep our composure here. Got a Hellhound on our ass. Uh, oh! <sighs> okay. 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 They gotta s be slowing down here, right? Okay. We just need to do some of that. Just get a lot of points from shooting into the friggin' horde. Oh. Uh, this is scary. I don't like this. Can this fucking dog die? No! Oh! That's the- that's the take. That's the only- I- I don't restart. I could have gotten Jug. I was actually pretty close. And I could have Pack-a-Punched after that, potentially. We are on BO2. And of course, we're starting it off with the greatest zombies experience of all time. Transit! I'm gonna grab that part. And I'm gonna put it down here, and we're gonna build the turbine, because the turbine is essential. We are essential workers with essential tools, ladies and gentlemen. How far are we going to make it on transit with the M1911? I don't know. I am just excited to use a starting pistol other than the M1911, because that's kind of all we've been using ever since we started this fucking video. <laughs> and we've got that built. Very nice. I can grab Quick Revive. The question is... Will I ever be able to see this machine again because I'm probably going to get lost in a corn maze or something fucked in the face by a denizen who knows what, you know. Place your bets in the comments what happens to me here on transit. It's probably not going to be pretty. I'll just tell you that straight up. Let's get the heck out of here, mate. And if we're lucky, the ladder will be here. There are quite a few buildables, actually. There's the electric trap, there's the turret, there's the shield. There's quite a few things I can actually utilize, and it's technically not against the rules because they're buildables and I wouldn't be purchasing them. The thing is, they're kind of ass. I would have to place down my turbine and then place down the turret or electric trap or whatever it is I'm using, and it's going to break pretty quickly. 
Pack-a-punching is probably a good idea, even though pack-a-punching in this map is like getting your balls stomped on by a very angry 300-pound woman. This bus is getting a little bit crowded. There's too many guests. I need you guys to leave. There's too many people now. And as we all know, parties get ruined when there's too many people. Said no one. Ever. I need to get the hell off this bus. I'm actually gonna die if I stay on that bus. It's either that or get fucked in the face by some denizens. I will say, playing transit without the ability to even pick up the MP5 off the wall. Man, it's a little bit painful, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this is, uh, it's gameplay I can't call exhilarating, that's for sure. Power switch is built. Let's flip it. He died. I teabagged him. The bus is gone, by the way. And I have to be very careful when I place down this turbine. I'm gonna place it down right, of course, at the pack-a-punch power door. And... Really, there's only a 50-50 shot that it doesn't break. And it, you know, it's probably going to break, and we're probably not going to be able to pack a bunch, or we're probably going to die before round 10. Either way, pack a bunch or not, so that's very exciting. Hello, avocado. No! No, 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 no! Fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck off! I really hope this works. I really- Because you know what? If I don't get it on my first try, I might just not even attempt it again. If pack a bunch does not work on my first attempt here, I might not even try it again. No cap. We're on, we're working. It got hit like two or three times, so it should probably be good, right? I'm at the cabin? This is my first time ever being here alone. I went here one time with Pat, the Smith plays, funny enough, when we were doing our 1v1. This is the second time I've ever been here. Isn't there like a jet gun piece here or something? Yeah, there is. Too bad I'm not picking it up. It's not. Didn't work. Okay. You know what? I have a fun idea. Look, I get it may be upsetting that I didn't put forth my best foot there, but uh, if the game's gonna just fuck me over, I'm not even gonna try playing it. I have a really bad reputation on Nuketown during these types of videos. I constantly down before round five. Pack-a-punch is RNG. It falls from the sky whenever it wants to fall from the sky. Now, thankfully, since this game hates me, it thinks I want Jug. It doesn't know that I'm doing this particular challenge and it's gonna give me Jug last. So hopefully that'll increase my odds of getting Pack-a-punch first. Now, the game might know that I'm doing this challenge and will give me Pack-a-Punch last. Oh, hey, look, the first thing that fell is Double Tap. That is mighty convenient. You know what? I might even just grab it. What else do I have to spend money on right now? I, I gotta wait rounds upon rounds to get what I actually need. So, maybe Double Tap? I don't know. It'll make my pistol slightly better, right? Right? So, seems like a pretty good investment to me. Bless up. Bless up. We got Jug. Now it's time to start searching for grenade wall buys. I'm pretty sure that there isn't one. There's an MP5. I know there's a BT3R in there. An M14. In here by chance? I'm guessing not. <gasps> Maybe in the center. I think there are in the center. I think there's Semtex. Is possibly! In a lot of ways, this is also an explosives only challenge when you really think about it. I'll just nuke all of you guys. No, how did I get trapped, man? I got trapped so quickly. Eh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. Man, if Pack-a-Punch came first or second, I think I would have survived much longer. We are now on to Die Rise. This is, of course, my least favorite map, but I am going to give it a good try because... Hey, what do I usually do on Die Rise anyways? I usually grab the Sliquifier, a wall gun. I'll just let... I'll let Stoolinger finish up. He's a little bit loud. Okay, there we go. I usually grab the Slicko Fire. I usually grab a wall gun, upgrade it. That's sort of my strategy. I hardly even use the parts. I really wish I could grab those Slicko Fire parts and build that. Unfortunately, I cannot. Let's turn on the power. Pack a punch is right there. Jug is right here. This seems like the place to be. You know what I just realized right now? I probably should have grabbed quick revive right before I went down that elevator shaft. I really could have done that. I just didn't. Yikes. Maybe Johnny J25 had a point. Maybe I'm just shit at die Eyes. Maybe that's why I don't like it. Actually, I think it's the other way around. I think it's a shit map and that's that's why I don't play it. Therefore, I'm not good at it. Pack a punch, pack a punch, pack a punch. I swear to Christ. Hurry up. Thank God. I was genuinely scared. Well, there it goes. One second later and it would have actually gone. Oh God. Oh God, they're actually here. Oh God, they're actually here. Okay. No! 
<laughs> what? Wait, what? Just one? I thought it had to be two. Maybe he hit me and then I blew myself up. Oh man, that was actually kind of fucking funny. <laughs> okay, I mean, I gave it a decent shot. I probably could have grabbed Quick Revive, but other than that, I'm, I'm content with it. Unfortunately, we do not have Quick Revive on this map. Fortunately, we do have Afterlife. I don't know if that's going to be better or worse, to be completely honest. I do know that we can't do the vast majority of everything on this map. We... Well, I guess we can build a shield. We can build the Asagat kit. Would it help us? No, not at all. Uh, Hell's Retriever. That's a tricky one. It is not a weapon that can be purchased. It is not a box weapon. It is not a wall weapon. It has to be unlocked. I did say earlier in the video, however, that even weapons that could be unlocked via challenges cannot be used either. So I think actually for this video, even though I've been very lenient in the past, I think I'm actually not going to go for the Hell's Retriever. Just because for the pistol only challenge, I really want it to be the pistol only. You know what I mean? I really don't want to make this a Hell's Retriever video. Because when I was using, you know, box weapons, wall weapons, whatever it was on this map, and I was using the Hell's Retriever, it kind of felt more normal. Since I had a lot of firepower anyways, but... I think it would be too drastic of a change. I, I think it would. I think it would take away from this significantly. So I think, I think I'm actually just going to avoid the Hell's Retriever. Therefore, the Hell's Redeemer. Probably not the Golden Spork either. I think that's also kind of a, a sleazy move. So I'm not even going to bother feeding the dogs actually, which totally throws off everything that I normally do on this map. I'm actually kind of relieved I don't have to spend 20 minutes feeding all the dogs. It does get a little bit tedious. Not going to lie. Not necessarily complaining that I don't have to do that this game. But, we're still going to go for Pack-a-Punch, which means we're going to grab all the parts. The shield, of course, as well. Can't go for the Blundergat or any of those upgrades. But, you know, perks, Pack-a-Punch, it's going to be a pretty basic game of mob. Oh. Hi, this is awkward. Yeah, I guess you can eat him. You know, and, and I'll let you eat this guy, too. But as far as, like, fully feeding you... It ain't gonna happen. So enjoy. To answer my question earlier, whether it was better to have Quick Revive or Afterlife, I think Afterlife is the better solution because it just saves me the trip and the money of having to go purchase Quick Revive over and over again. So I guess it's just slightly more convenient. I can open that up, can't I? That'd be great. I do need more points to open up this door, however, and uh, your boy just don't have that right now. I am ill-prepared for Brutus's arrival. <laughs> He is going to show up and I am not going to be prepared. This is not good. I need a max ammo or an insta-kill or like something. I am not going to get past this round, quite honestly. Oh, there it is. I went into afterlife. Well, that's actually not bad. That's not the end of the world. Uh, Thank you, actually. Because <laughs> now I can just shock my freaking panels. Right? Yeah, it's not the end of the world. Do need to open up that other door pretty soon here, but... There's a favor. Um, uh, is this door 2,000 or is this 1,500? 1,500, good. I can get the fuck out of here. No, 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 not again. Okay, well, thankfully, <laughs> once again, I have something else to to open up here. I can, can take advantage of my death, right? I, I, that's better than Quick Revive, actually. So I can uh, turn on Jug. What else can I do? I can turn on the Gondola. And uh, I suppose that's it. So... Downing wasn't actually bad at all for me, but what is bad for me is I have no more. Oh, ring around the motherfucker Rosie. Oh, uh, what do I do? <laughs> I can't do anything. This is fucking stupid. Why did I put myself up to this? Eh, uh, eh, uh, okay, okay, hi, this crawler. Oh, I got double swiped. Okay, well. That was probably the lowest round I've ever gotten to on this map while trying. Here we are on Barrett, the only good Victus map. Typically what I do is I grab the LSAT. I cannot do that. So, I'm going to just get out of here. Actually, can I get Perma PhD? How did I... How do you do that? I forgot. Russian told me one time. No! Okay. 
I thought I fell off the map somehow, some way. Okay, I'll just grab Quick Revive. God damn it. If I can get Perma PhD, that would make the Mustang and Sally's far more interesting. And of course, I can draw all these guns, but I can't actually buy them, which is sad. I can use Leroy, though. He's my bitch. I'm here to free you. Big man with the big private parts. Let me grab the booze. Get you drunk as a skunk. I would have Leroy nail the box down with the candy, but <laughs> we can't even spin it, so there is zero point in doing that. I will have you build some uh, magnificent inventions for me. Hopefully something good. We have the subsurface resonator, the head chopper, the trample steam, and the turbine all at our disposal, and they are not against the rules. I can use those. So, this could be interesting. They don't give me points, though, I don't think, for kills. The one thing I'm fearful of is spending a very long time setting up Unburied, like I always do, and dying not too long after that. <laughs> it seems to happen quite often when I'm doing these challenges Unburied. I just really hope I can get a decent shot at this. Vulture Aid is going to be really helpful because we get free ammo drops. And uh, some green gas stuff, which is going to be... Really nice for, uh, camouflaging ourselves, huh? Okay. This is getting a little bit sticky. Sticky! I'm gonna... Toss a grenade that way. Not this way. Oh, God. I remember a long, long time ago, before I knew Leroy could build all of the buildables just with the candy. I used to go into that little building like a bitch. Like a slave bitch. And grab every single part and drag every single one of them to the crafting table. When in reality, you just don't have to do that. <laughs> I would spend like a half hour just building the buildables. Especially since I wasn't nearly as good back then. I should probably grab Double Tap as my fourth perk when I go into the witch's house, I will be doing that. But, uh, here's the thing, how am I gonna get through there? This is not a good idea, I know it's not a good idea, but I'm just gonna go for it. There aren't gonna be zombies trailing me, right? Probably not. I'm gonna buy Double Tap, and... <laughs> I'm going to lose a lot of points here, I understand that, but I have no other choice. I have no other choice but to do this, alright? I don't care if I lose all my points. Wait, do I have to kill them for this fucking thing to open? Oh dear god, no I don't, okay. Alright, perfect, perfect, just let me get through. Just let me get through. Okay, that's all that matters, I don't care about me points. I just needed to get through, and now there are going to be zombies actually. Hey, look at that. Free perk, baby. I got speed cola, too. I actually did pretty well. Uh, problem. No points, no ammo, no firepower, and I'm in the middle of a fucking maze, and I don't have nearly enough to actually pack upon. If I could just kill the weak link here. So let me kill the weak link. Let me get in the green mist. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're temporarily safe. We are temporarily safe. I have nothing to my name. I'm just gonna leave. Wait a second. Did I have to, uh, yeah, you know what I forgot to do? <laughs> you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to break the fountain in the actual map. You have to break the corresponding fountain for the teleporter to actually work. So what I just did is I forgot to do that, and I just jumped into a fucking hole and broke my legs and died. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. And here we are. I love the intro to this map. Grab the shovel. With the shovel, we're able to excavate a lot of cool things. A lot of it we can't touch. You know, guns, staff pieces, useful stuff. But we'll get some bonus points here and there, some drops, which will actually prove very helpful. We do have the Wonder Fizz machine. We got a variety in perks. Grab that. We have a different starting pistol too! I forgot we have the Mauser! This is the first starting pistol in this entire video that isn't the Colt M1911 or the M1911. Origins is a map that is very routine oriented. You have to have a very specific routine and that is all being broken with my inability to grab stabs and, you know, the vast majority of things on this map. Although, if I can pack a punch this, it is mighty good, and there is no explosive damage. It is the Boom Hilda, and it is essentially a mini ray gun. Oh, refill on ammo, hell yeah. I don't need that staff piece, but I actually prefer the ammo refill. I just died. Anyways, uh, so there goes one quick revive already. Please, no. Oh my god, I saw that coming from a mile away. This is going to be the first shield in the entire video. 
And hopefully that'll prove helpful, because if not, I just don't even know what to do with myself anymore. Wow. I mean, wow. A double swipe. Yeah, this is not looking promising. If I don't get a Boom Hilda by round 8 when the Panzer spawns in, I am absolutely going to die. There is no way I could even possibly hope to imagine killing a Panzer with just my fucking Mauser. <laughs> even if I had full ammo, even with the shield, jug, none of that matters. I need this Boom Hilda or I am screwed. And I'm pretty sure I need all of the generators on for me to be able to pack a punch. No, 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 my shield broke. If you are still watching, you are a trooper. I appreciate you. I love you. Pat yourself on the back. Do it lightly, though. Okay, don't hurt yourself. The last thing I want is for you to have a sore back while we play Shadows of Evil. But before we do that, I actually do have a couple of ground rules. Number one, no gobblegum. Not even classics this time. Typically for these challenges, I allow myself to use basic gobblegum. Not this time. I don't want to muddy things up with gobblegum. I don't want to make... This overpowered. I want to be very authentic to this starting pistol only thing. However, I do spawn in with an RK5 by default because I've completed all of the Easter eggs on Xbox. So, I am not allowed to pack a punch it, but I'm allowed to use it. I think that's completely fair. Hello, Shadow Man. See, I'm tempted to shoot him and get to round 15, but I think I want to actually progress through the game normally. So, we're going to get 500 free points here. Life hack. It's a DIY grenade mm. trick. Don't hold it too long, kids, or you might blow your hand off. Also, check this out. This is the second non-M1911 pistol throughout this entire video. Every other pistol besides this and the Mauser has been a Colt M1911, a 1911, an M1911, a 911. Let's start ritual number one. I'm trying to think of what I can do and what I can't do here on Shadows. Of course, I can pack a punch, so I'm going to be doing all the rituals and doing all of that. I am not going to go for the specialist on any of these maps, I don't think. I have in the past with the one box challenge, the one hit challenge, wall gun challenge, whatever it is. But I think for this time, I, I, ju I just think that's going to take away from this majorly. You know what I mean? So I think I'm just going to totally avoid the Apothegan Sword. Of course, I can't get the Apothegan Servant, but I can get the fuses for the Civil Protector. That is not against the rule. And there we go. We're done with all four rituals, baby. We're going to get another Margwa. I should probably grab Jug pretty soon. I think Widow's Wine is going to be another perk. What should the fourth one be? I'm thinking probably stamina up. Hello! Nice of you to show up. Let the final ritual commence. I really, really love this map. Especially aesthetically. It is just absolutely stunning. No, but for real, look at this fucking worm, dude. I wish that was inside me. Fuck it, I'm just gonna grab double tap. I'm pretty sure it may or may not help me with the dual wield explosive pistols that I'm about to get. I'm not even sure. And we got some parasites rolling in. That's great. Freaking love these guys. That says, good a time as any to pack a punch the Bloodhound here, which is going to give us the meat wagon. Dual wield explosive pistol like the Mustang and Sally. I rarely ever use this. Of course, there's no PhD in this game. That's why. I'll also have this unpack a punched RK5 at my disposal. The shield. The civil protector. And that is it. Where is it? Where is it? I don't want to die. No! <laughs> Oh, I died! I'm a fucking idiot! I could have totally avoided that. Also, I totally forgot that there are pods on this map that give you a bunch of different things. Drops, guns, etc, etc. I think the way I'm gonna do that is simply avoid all guns, grab power-ups, and whatever else it may offer me, as long as it's not directly going against the rules. Check this out, man. Oh, ho, ho. Although we aren't allowed to run Gobblegum, I did get the free Mega Gobblegum from the Easter Egg I did, so... What are we working with here? Ephemeral Enhancement, so I can actually pack a punch my gun temporarily. That's pretty cool, let's do it! I earned it, right? I got the free Gobblegum, and it's only temporary. I think it's like 90 seconds or something, so I'll just enjoy this for 90 seconds. Oh, Good thing I can't grab that! It's really sad, actually. Let's see what else I can uh, obtain from these purple pods. Come on. Come on. Uh, bootlegger. I can't grab that. No guns. Let's see. Another bootlegger. Very nice. Like the variety. Oh, shit. Cool. Take that. Hi. Oh, you're a two-shot now. Look who's evolving. Why not? Why not? I have really nothing else to spend my points on anyways, so... 
By all means, come help me, civil protector. Okay, these things aren't great anymore. <laughs> Grawlers galore. This is definitely starting to fall apart pretty quickly. Oh, this is a mistake. No, I'm screwed. My shield's gone. Fuck it. Gobblegazi! You know what I should have grabbed? Oh, wait, never mind. I can't use Gobblegum. I was about to say, I should have grabbed Danger Closest as a Gobblegum. It gives you, like, a temporary PhD ability. But we're not even using Gobblegum, so that doesn't matter. Oh, dear God. Oh, my God. It's right next to me. Okay. Let's be diligent about this. So, Protector, it's just you and I. Oh, you and I against the world. I am committing to this training spot. I am not leaving this fucking training spot if it kills me. It's probably gonna kill me. Wow. Wow. I didn't think that would happen. What's going- Oh, he's reviving me! And I get my quick revive back! Oh no. I'm screwed. Unless I can- Oh, I have my shield out. That didn't really work. Okay. So, I am on my final life now. No, 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 no. No! Get out of me way! Get out of me way! Get out of me way! No, 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 no! What the fuck is happening? Oh, boy. I just have nothing to, to do. <laughs> I can't do anything. I have got to open up a bunch of purple pods to see if I can get a max ammo, potentially. Otherwise, this whole thing is coming to an end. Oh, an insta-kill. That could be helpful. I can use this to clear zombies out of my way. Just go down here, quickly open up this pod. Yeah. Up. Oh. Not great. Oh, I'm Max Ammo! No! I think every single death has been via explosive damage. You know what? I'm just gonna go out. Like, oh wait, I forgot. He's still alive. He's just gonna revive me again. Civil Protector, you've been a very dutiful, helpful assistant today. But I think Tim has reached the point where suicide is probably the best option for the sake of this video. Dot. Okay, there we go. So we're on to a new pistol, which is the MR6. We're going to have this throughout the rest of Black Ops 3, which is five more maps, including this one. And then we're on to Black Ops 4 after that. It's our first dog round. Yeah, I skipped a couple of rounds here. There isn't much going on. It's exactly like Doris, except in English, the giant. <laughs> and it's remastered and stuff. So I actually have a lot of points. I think I'm going to go try to activate some of the teleporters. Get Pack-a-Punch underway. That's really all I can do anyhow. And there we go. We got all three of the teleporters linked to the mainframe. That means we can actually patch a punch. Patch a punch. Yeah, I can talk. I can speak fucking English. Let me uh, get the Death and Taxes, I think is what it's called. That's a dope name, by the way. It really is sad to say, but the only thing I am scared of is killing myself with these. I really don't think this game is too difficult. <laughs> No, 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 I got trapped. Wait, what, what, what? Wow, I thought I was still down shooting the bullets, and it turns out I was getting up? <laughs> and I downed instantly. I, ca I, I seriously did not kill myself on purpose. That was a genuine accident. I don't know how that happened. That is the first time that has ever happened to me, ever. We are now on the Iron Castle. Is that what Der Eisendrack means? I don't know. I don't speak German. Leave me alone. We can't go for the bows or the Ragnarok. We can only go for the shield. Also, there's a Panzer coming in on round 12, which will most likely be our fate. So I'm looking forward to him popping up. If we can kill him with death and taxes, which is probable then we should be good. But, you know, there's always that possibility that things don't work out the way I intend. I don't have to feed any of the dragons, which is something I obviously usually have to do, so there's a lot of time and energy saved right there. Also, this is a pretty easy map in general. You know, there isn't really a ton I have to worry about. It is time. Death and taxes await me. What's the saying? The only two things that are guaranteed in life are death and taxes. Also, I can't use the death ray. Which would be really helpful to pin down the Panzer for when I actually do want to kill him. Unfortunately, we can't. There are some Panzer Claws scattered around the map, which I typically try to use if I can. But I'm not going to risk my life in a close quarter situation with highly explosive weapons. So I actually think I'm going to pass on that. Funny enough, I actually have a Derizon Drag Pack-a-Punch camo on this RK-5. So it looks like it's Pack-a-Punch. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, I don't like this. Is he right here? He's not. Where is he? 
Oh, hi, Mr. Dickface. Not dead yet, I see. Alright. Not dead yet, I see. Okay, a nuke. That's helpful. Okay, so. How are you not dead? Let me recharge. Okay, now you're dead. Cool. Come on, Widow's Wine, please! We got through the first Panzer round, successfully. It took a lot of ammo, though, so... I don't know how we're gonna do the second time around. Deadshot! For the third time, consecutively. Please, suck the better half of my left testicle. The Panzer is likely going to be showing up. It's a dog round, though. Will I get a twofer? Yep, two for one here. I can't use the trap. I was just about to use the trap. Okay. 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 This is a little bit tricky. We got fast dogs and a slow Panzer. And highly explosive weapons, which I just killed myself with. Please die. Not dead. Not dead, huh? Yeah, you know screw it. I'll just take it. I have a theory with Electric Cherry, actually. Maybe I can just electrocute them infinitely. Oh, dear God. I'm surrounded. Maybe I can make a bunch of crawlers and then just electrocute them with Cherry. Maybe that might be a good idea. Wow. <laughs> I thought the rocket shield was a little bit better. Eh, it's around 25. I don't know. Oh. I was itching my head that time. Not the other times I downed, but that time I did itch my head while I was spamming the... That doesn't really sound believable, though. But it's true, though. The Swamp of Despair. Island of Despair. Whatever Zetsubo no Shima means in the English language. I am going to be able to take advantage of this planning system. Unfortunately, and fortunately, there are quite a few things that I cannot grab. I cannot grab... Well, I can grab them, but I can't build the KT-4 or the skull. But uh, I suppose I could actually go for the shield and the gas mask, and I still need to uh, try to pack a punch, so... Actually, uh, there are a lot of parts I still do need to grab, but there's not a lot I can actually do with this map. Quick revive. I'm going to check out my challenges so I can see what I can and can't do. Sport of regain. Okay, that's pretty easy. Obtain a power up from a plant. And kill three zombies as they're mutating. This shouldn't be too terrible. I know I don't have to do any of the rituals for the skull, but I'm still going to be experiencing many a thrashers. And I am going to be ill-prepared for such. Oh, dear God. Speaking of the devil, where the fuck is he? Oh my god. You motherfucking monster. One, two, three, four. I'm trapped. I can't see shit. Well, he's dead. Setting up on Zetsubo, even with perks, guns, still kind of difficult. Now, picture trying to do that <laughs> with a measly RK5. Grenades underwater is what I'm resorting to right now, by the way. I'm probably going to down myself, yeah. Well, I can take this as an opportunity to kill all of them. Hey, there's one of three Pack-a-Punch pieces. Very nice. Still gotta flip this switch. Never mind, I'm dead. Go rod time. There are melee weapons I can't get. There is a specialist I can't get. But everything else I can. I can Pack-a-Punch and get the shield. The Dragon Shield is actually significantly better than the Rocket Shield. I do have a lot to look forward to in this game. It's a pretty simple map, Garage Kroby, believe it or not. Acquire a dragon egg, cannot do that. Destroy the camera on six Valkyrie drones, that's doable. Destroy the arm cannon on five Russian Mangler soldiers, that's doable. Kill eight zombies simultaneously with the elevator. Probably not gonna happen. It's gonna be a little bit tricky. I need you guys to be polite today. Because Tim's only got a start a starting pistol to work with here. So, everybody could just relax. Oh my god. Ooh, the lockdown. I don't know if I should do that or not. Because the lockdown is... Something that requires a lot of ammo and a lot of firepower. I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. If I'm being realistic, I'm going to have this RK-5, uh, a shield, and death and taxes at best. Is it worth the dragon strike? Probably not. I really only need to visit the hatchery once. I just need to pack a punch once. And I'm not doing the specialist so i don't have to return and i don't believe i have any challenges that regard this place so and I, you know i'm not even gonna do the lockdown quite honestly i think the lockdown is too dangerous for what it's worth i think i am more than likely going to perish also dope ass pack a punch camo okay this guy's indestructible i am not oh dear god not this round 
Ooh. Ooh. I should be good, but... You never know with these fucking things. Yeah, they're just as about impossible to kill as I thought they were. I hate my life. That was so avoidable. <laughs> I was looking for the Wonder Fizz machine, trying to get Widow's Fine. Speaking of which, I, I totally forgot the Wonder Fizz machine even existed on this map until I just saw it in the sky. <laughs> Wait, am I What? Okay. 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 It is very easy to down with dual wield explosive pistols. That is the reoccurring theme. It's unfortunate that the majority of the gameplay that you're seeing that I'm not editing out is of me downing. <laughs> because that's the highlight. Anyways, on to Revelation. This is the final map of Black Ops 3, and then we're on to Black Ops 4, which is probably going to be even easier. You don't get the full Revelations experience, aka having two of the most overpowered one weapons of all time, tagged along with Ragnarok, Shalarnes, and the whole shebang. Okay, what should we do? Where should we go? Probably through... Actually, I'm gonna go grab Jug and Knocked first. There are also some God Masks I can go for. I don't know how to. I forgot. I hardly ever play this map. I'm not the biggest Revelations fan. I don't hate it. I just think it's really boring and, quite frankly, unoriginal, and I'm dead. There's so many of them. There is a ridiculous, absurd, unreasonable amount of them. They just keep coming. Quite honestly, I don't even know what they add to this map. This map is already too easy. It's not like they make things more challenging. They just make things less convenient, I would say. I will do anything to get the 100 points for proning. Don't test me. I'm going to die. Not unless my Widow's Wine can save me. Oh, oh, my Widow's Wine's saving me. Not for long. Oh, where am I? I got out of that. I didn't really deserve to get out of that. Screw it. I'm not afraid to die. I'm very afraid to die. Please, don't kill me. This is going to be epic if I can get out of this in one piece. Shouldn't be too tricky. Just going to use my epic training skills. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay, 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 okay. We got out of that. We can actually pack a bunch when we get enough points now. Let me shoot you right in the... And the gallbladder. Whatever the fuck. There we go. Throw this bad boy in there. Shush, Dr. Monty. I don't want to hear any quotes from you today. Finally! I got electric cherry. Oh. Oh, hi. I thought I had had enough of you. Well. Three days later. I have been running around for a very long time without any ammo. Constantly rebuying RK5 ammo, shooting it. Constantly re-grabbing shields, breaking them. And you know what I've concluded? This is a little bit too fucking easy, and it's hardly even a starting pistol-only challenge. Take me away, flogger. Welcome to Black Ops 4 Zombies. We're in the final stretch. Do not click off, goddammit. Black Ops 4 matters just as much as the rest of the games. Not really, but kind of. Thankfully, though, in this game, I will give it this, we have custom mutations, which allows us to customize our game to our liking to this specific challenge. So let me go over the rules. As you can see here, I have traps turned off, mystery box turned off, wall buys turned off. No elixirs, no talismans, not that I ever use them anyways. The megas, that is. Special weapons off. Specialist off. Okay? Equipment off. I'm not running wraiths. I'm not running anything. I'm not even allowing myself to do that. This is going to be a bare-bones, authentic starting pistol challenge. Because I can! I can just customize it that way if I want to. And also, I gave myself 150 HP rather than 200. So I am at a slight health disadvantage. Not, not a huge one. And so with that, we are going to hop into Voyage of Despair. As you can see, there is no specialist, no equipment. The elixirs are crossed out. We can still grab some parts. We can still pack a punch. We can still activate the Sentinel Artifact, aka Power. We can still do all of that. That hasn't changed. And you know what? I will say one thing. Specialists and equipment are sort of integral to the player for the for you to actually have a fair shot. So I'm actually at a major disadvantage not having those. But that's the point. Because every single time I do one of these challenge videos and I get to Black Ops 4, it's an absolute snooze fest. It's way too easy with... All of the resources I have, I figured I may as well make it as close as I possibly can to a bare-bones 
Black Ops 4 experience. I can't even buy the Strife. Wall buys are totally disabled. There isn't even an option. I can't even cheat if I wanted to. Okay, not that I've been cheating or I've ever wanted to cheat, but you understand. Now it's impossible. The Welling is the default starting pistol in Black Ops 4. There are some other weapons you can spawn in with if you level up, such as the Mog 12 shotgun, the Essex Model 07, the SOG 9mm, and the Strife. You can spawn in with any of those. Also the RK7 Garrison. But... I am rolling with the default Welling. It is the closest you can get to a starting pistol without it being too OP. I mean, if I was running around with a shotgun, like I normally am in this game, when I spawn in, it wouldn't be too fun. Oh, I already downed? Okay, that was actually a fluke. That should not have happened. I honestly don't have an explanation for that one. No excuses there. See, the problem is Voyage of Despair is such a big map with so many doors to open that I truly may not even be able to... Do anything. Wait, what did I just grab? Is that a shield part? That can't be a shield part. Am I already gonna die? I'm already dead. Look at that. Um, cool. That was not a shield part. That is a piece for the Kraken upgrade, which I cannot do. I think it is. I don't even have the luxury of throwing grenades like I did beforehand. Again, that's on me. I could have totally enabled equipment, but I decided to make myself angry. Don't worry, guys. Challenge turns me on. Challenge is my middle name. Timothy Challenged Hansen. That sounds like a cool book title, actually. We made it all the way to the opposite side of the ship to activate the Sentinel Artifact, so that's step one, right? Now we just need to have enough points to upgrade. I need to activate all three of the pillars to upgrade, which are scattered all around the map. A lot more doors to open. Ballistic Shield. I do have a little bit of ammo with this. This will help me slightly until I run out. There's one of the pillars I need to activate. Also, I forgot how to unflood this place. How? Where? Well, I know how, I just don't know where. Oh, I almost had them jukes. That's game over. Wow. I got totally surrounded and I had nothing to defend myself with in the water. Here we are on nine. There are challenges I can complete. If it hands me a gun reward, however, I will not be able to complete it. Also, the first one is get six equipment kills and I have no equipment. So just disregard everything I just said. This is officially a knife challenge. There we go. I might actually just save that, because I need all the bullets I can get. Getting through all of the champions to get to Pack-A-Punch is doable, but it is going to be very, very difficult. We ready? Let's do it! This is going to be super difficult. Unless they're tigers. Are these tigers? These are tigers! Very manageable. Knowing that the rest of them are going to be gladiators, I'm almost tempted to not even try, because this was the easiest one, and I have no ammo almost already. Let me just end your life. I got a shield piece. That's good. You know what? You know what? I can do it. I can take him on. Bring it on. I got a knife. I can take care of him. Oh, he's pissed. I can already see him. He's fuming. Knife. 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 If I can actually pull this off, I am going to eat the fattest Oreo later as a reward. Well, that was nice. Oh, I can actually try to kill with these things real quick. Let me kill you. <laughs> I, th I think I found the key, guys. I have to down in order to use these things to kill. Oh, genius idea. The shield. If I can get all the shield pieces together, I can use that to kill everything else. That is a genius idea, and it is actually plausible. I don't have any other choice. I got to do this quickly. The brazen bull is the key to success. I am already being hit. Let me pull this out. Okay, I'm alive. I'm alive. The good thing is, the shield is pretty good at killing boss zombies anyways, so this won't be too difficult if I can get him right where I want him. Oh, twofer. We got a twofer. Yeah! Now, does a max ammo refill the shield ammo? Does it? It does. I just learned something. And that brings us to the final one. Let's see if I can get it done real quick. I can just kill this one guy, which I should be able to. Then I can just go pack a punch. And that'll make my life a lot easier. And maybe we'll even get to perks if I don't get too excited now. The Welling is going into the machine, baby! Look at me just walking around. Can I fist him? Can I fucking... Oh, that's just a knife. I don't know why I thought I would be fisting them. Here we go. The King and Country. That's what it's called. Not gonna lie, after that Voyage of Despair run, I was getting a little bit nervous that maybe I wouldn't be able to get anywhere. I wouldn't be able to pack a punch or buy perks or anything. But hey, I was able to get the shield, kill everything, get those points to get to here, and with these, I'll be able to get all my perks.
I had my shield out and it went through the shield somehow. I don't understand what the hell just happened. And we spawn into the most disappointing map in Zombies history. Actually, you know what? I should be more optimistic. It is the... Not as great Mob of the Dead. Yeah, that's optimistic, right? Can I... Ooh, very cool. Well, we're on Blood of the Dead, and I have a Welling, of course, and nothing else. Can't go for the Hell's Retriever. Can't go for the Golden Spork. Can't go for pretty much anything except for the Shield and Pack-a-Punch and perks, but also power. And thank God there's two of them. I don't know how I'm going to make it through the catwalk alive. I genuinely don't think I have the ability to. I have a welling. <laughs> that is it. No specialist, no equipment. I, I'm a broken record, but hey, I'm just, just stating the obvious. I'm just stating what's on everyone's mind. And that is that getting past the catwalk is impossible. But then again, we are playing Blood of the Dead. So if I end early here, I end early here. Let's fucking do it. Okay. All right. Yep. They're pissed. They're pissed. They're pissed. They're pissed. They're pissed. Okay. All right. Uh. Okay. Okay. Let's see if I can sneak by. I can't sneak by. Uh. Uh. I'm screwed. <laughs> hey, maybe I can uh, crawl my way to victory here. I want to make it to the opposite side. I'm determined. <laughs> Determination isn't enough. I got one final shot at this. Ooh raw. Hey, I made it out of the tunnel. Now I'm just out here. Gonna make sure that all of these doggos don't kill me. There's so many I'm going to die for sure. Oh, well, it was a nice run. Here we are, the Pentagon for the second time around. I don't think I'm gonna do any better than I did on five earlier. That was an impressive attempt. The good thing is pack-a-punching isn't very difficult on classified. I should be able to get there and I should be okay and the sun will be shining and rainbows will fall from the sky and lollipops will grow out of the ground. But, you know, there's always that possibility I don't get there, of course. It's a sad possibility, but it is a possibility that we have to acknowledge. Okay, just enough to get all the way down there, turn on power, potentially grab the last shield piece. Grab the shield. That's always the goal here, I've noticed in Black Ops 4. Get that shield. It is going to save my life. There we go. Mwahaha. Mwahaha. We'll activate the DEF CON. We will go grab the final teleporter amplifier piece. God, I feel like such a fucking nerd when I say that out loud. Grab that. We'll build it. And we are en route to pack-a-punching. We just need a lot more points. No, 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 not me. Oh, I only got one way out of this and it's straight ahead of me. I got to get through them, through them. No, I'm going to die. Oh God. Oh Lordy Lord. I'm dead. Well, this has been fun. Damn it. I actually like this map. Yeah, this cutscene takes so long. I think I'm going to head out for a minute. Like legit. I will be back in a second. This cutscene is unskippable for about two, three minutes. So goodbye. we start? Okay. We're starting. Alright, let me sit back down. Hello. It's out of the night. I'm on the bad side of spawn. Not that it really matters, actually, but... Um, dear God. Just don't expect me to actually get all three of the tuning forks and get to pack a punch. I guarantee you this is a portrait of one of the devs at Treyarch's daughter. As weird as that sounds, they like to do that kind of stuff a lot with Easter eggs. Anyways, I can activate the Sentinel Artifact. That shouldn't be too much of a chore. Hey, a shield piece. That's good. We're definitely going to need that shield. Did I really just fucking trap myself this early? Dude, getting trapped is a lot easier than you may think. I promise you I'm not that terrible. I mean, you saw me play earlier when I wasn't playing this game. It was, it was decent, right? That was just bad. I don't know what that was. Boy, I'd be lying to you if I said I knew where the last shield part was. Good God. That's my key to success, too. So if I don't find this... You know what? Actually, I'm screwed no matter what. We got werewolves coming in pretty soon. We've got Nosferatus coming in pretty soon. Does anybody realistically think I'm going to be able to fend off any of them? I, I'm already trapping myself. I'm fucked. Maybe not. Wow. Oh. Okay. I'm going to do something with my life. I want to make something of myself. I think they're all around me already. Yep, they are. And they are not happy. One could say they are pissed. Well, now it's time to start filling up the souls. As if <laughs> I'm even actually going to uh, 
grab all three of the tuning forks, but I'll give it a, I'll give it a good college try. I'm here to try. Okay, let me peer in here. Gaze into the stone. What do you see, Tim? I see a sad woman whose hands are tied together. Is it this one? It is this one. Cool. So the ghost lady is going to come out and lead me towards one of the tuning forks. Am I going to be able to get there? I don't know. But hey, at least I've made it this far. Classified was pretty sad. So is Blood of the Dead. Are you going to possess this statue right here? Is that what you're going to do? Yeah, it looks like it. All right, well, as long as you're behaving. Let's peer quickly. What do we got here? A claw. I'm not even going to be able to do this. Why am I even trying? You know what? Iolo, you really only live once. No! <laughs> what am I doing? We're playing some Ancient Evil. They made round one real easy for me. They just put them right all up in front of me, which I really appreciate. I just got done doing the Ancient Evil Gauntlet not too long ago in that series that plus Johnny and I have been doing. And I really still like this map a lot, but I have a lot of bad memories on it now. Let's just put it that way. But I do think Ancient Evil is... One of the few maps in this game that is great. Let's activate the Sentinel Artifact. Hello, Perseus. God, I hate you and your shirtlessness. Thank God I don't have to use any ammo here to kill them all because my boy Pegasus about to come in here and drop the hottest track of 2021. It's not even 2021 yet. That's how fucking hot it's going to be. I'm just going to wait a second. Yo, Pegasus. Pegasus. Where are you, Pegashesh? Eh? Yeah? You wanna show up? Yeah? Maybe? Maybe not? Oh, there you go. Here's an interesting thing about Ancient Evil's shield. In order to get one of the parts, I have to kill a Giganes, aka a large four-armed monster who is impossible to kill with a welling and a knife. So essentially, with the way things are already going on top of what I'm about to do by grabbing this golden bridle and having him spawn in, I am going to be perishing very shortly, so I'd just like to write out my will very quickly. Turbo, you can have my channel. I know you don't really need it, but you can have it. Rabbit, you know, you've always been a good fan, a good friend as well. And uh, I just want to appreciate and uh, show you that I appreciate you by uh, giving you my son. And, uh, well, maybe with these guns I can kill him. Oh, he's dead. Cool. I mean, I died, but that worked. Wait a second. <laughs> I don't have a specialist, which means I can't free the birds in the other side of the map to get to Pack-a-Punch. So I cannot Pack-a-Punch because I don't have a specialist. Did Treyarch consider that ever? You know, maybe if someone were playing Custom Mutations, they don't have a specialist. Oh, they literally can't Pack-a-Punch. I mean, it is Custom Mutations, so I really can't complain. But that is remarkable, the lack of foresight there. Tribute? Sure. I mean, what else do I have going on? Deal melee damage. That's not too bad, right? I can... That counts. Except my shield's probably going to break really quick. I can't actually free the bird, can I? Nope. So there's no point in even being here. I don't know why I'm here. I'm just going to leave. Oh, wait, I can't leave until I... Pack a punch. Oh, no. The fast travel is gone until I unlock pack a punch, so I can't escape. I'm quite literally trapped here. Wow. And that means I can't grab a shield if I'm stuck here. Because, you know, the shield's on the other part of the map. Well, I'm dead. I am dead. I am dead. Well, <laughs> I got stuck. There was not a thing I could do other than knife. The Alpha Miss of Omega Miss. Here we are. I'm not quite sure what we can do. We can turn on power. Right, that's good. Perks. Pack-a-punch isn't too hard to get to. I can turn on all the valves and everything. I might have a decent shot. Power is on. Now, shield time, baby. You already know. No, no, I'm stuck. I keep getting stuck early on in these games. It's not even the fact that I'm at... Well, it is the fact that I'm out of ammo. I'm running around without ammo. But it is still pretty easy to get trapped. Oh, no, I got stuck. Let's look at our current situation. I'm trapped here in a bunker with no ammo. I don't know where the final shield part is. I couldn't be bothered to go look up a Mr. Rough Waffles guide in this shit, so... Where does that leave us? Let's do it. Why not? I have nothing. <laughs> but if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die doing something productive. Oh, what is that? Some sort of part. Hi. Now you, these little mischievous crawlers, they like to turn all the other zombies. I forgot if this is a kill-based thing or a time-based thing. If this is time-based, your boy can wait it out. Oh, I'm gonna die no matter what I do right now. Oh boy. 
Yep, there it is. And here we are, ladies and gents. We are at the final map. This is the conclusion. Tog Dare Toten. Oh, I can't pick up snowballs because I don't have equipment equipped. <laughs> so I cannot grab any of the dynamite pieces, therefore build the dynamite bomb, therefore break open a lot of those. That, 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 that's not the end of the world. So of course, this is Call of the Dead Reimagined. And so it's pretty similar, but not very. Wait, can I get the 500 free points? Why aren't they allowing us to do that anymore? That is sad. I wanted to tribute my boy George and get 500 free points. I guess they uh, discontinued that for some reason. Anyways, this is a lot like Call of the Dead, except not really. Uh, I am not a huge fan of this map. I feel indifferent towards it. I don't hate it. I don't love it. It's maps like this and Alpha Omega that are so clearly derivative of Blackout. I mean, this section is quite literally just Lighthouse, that section in Blackout. The same thing goes for Alpha Omega and Nuketown. I mean, hell, they even have uh, that Halcatraz Battle Royale thing going on. Its own map, and obviously that's a lot like Blood, so... It's just the amount of recycling. We've got the Riot Shield! And you know what else I can do? I can go grab a blue rock and hand it off to Pablo. No, 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 no! It happens every time. It's unavoidable. I run out of ammo, I have nowhere to go, I have nothing to do. Yeah, I, I really apologize for the amount of skipping around I'm doing. It's just not fascinating gameplay, to be honest. I run out of ammo, I knife, I don't even have grenades anymore like I used to in the other games. Again, on me, could have uh, put on wraiths, but really, would me running around with wraiths be any more entertaining? Maybe it's just Black Ops 4, I think that's the common denominator here. My life is banked on killing y Oh, I need 20 more points! Oh! Okay. In here. Power on. Boy, that was close, huh? That was real close. May as well try this. I don't know what challenge it's gonna give me. Hopefully it's applicable. What'll it be, fellas? Nothing. Great. Kill enemies while standing in freezing water. Okay! That's not too bad. Hey, look at that. That's enough for Pack-a-Punch. If I'm not mistaken. So let's go try that. Where is Pack-a-Punch? I don't even need to use the golden Pack-a-Punch machine because I don't need a double pap variant. I just need this papped once and then we good. <gasps> there it is. There it is. I gotta be super quick about this. Super, super quick. I don't have any other option. Uh. Uh. This is so startling. Grab it. We successfully Pack-a-Punched. On Black Ops 4, the only other time I did that was on 9. What is my reward this time? I got a bonus points last time. Ooh, a max ammo. I may as well just spam this fucking thing, eh? Play the Hermit's favorite tune on the bells in docks. That is where I draw the line. I have a very important message to deliver real quick before the game ends. I need to deliver this message. It's the most important message you'll ever hear in your entire life. I need to deliver it. Where is you? It's over here. He's over here. I gotta deliver the message. I gotta deliver the message. I have to deliver the message. You know what that message is? I'm fucking over Black Ops 4. <laughs> yeah, if you hold down that thing, it actually kills you. I got bored at the very end, but then again, when you play 30 maps consecutively, it's pretty easy to have that happen. Thank you guys so much for watching this long video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you got all the way to the very end, all the way to the very end. Let me know in the comments. I'm curious. I want to know who you OGs out there are. You, uh, you s sexy mother fucker. I am going to be logging off pretty soon. I'm pretty tired, if you couldn't tell by my, uh, tone of voice. And you know what? That was pretty fun. The starting pistol on every single map. It was a lot more fun earlier on in World of War, Black Ops 1, when things were challenging but quick. And then it kind of dragged towards the end like it always does with these sorts of challenges. And I hope you have a terrific day. <laughs> also, don't forget to uh, check out the merch and everything in the description. Posters, G Fuel, use code Hanson. That is also important. Have a fantastic day, guys.